heart attacks are normally caused by a, a clot. Is that correct? Heart attacks or stroke, cardiovascular disease is normally caused by a clot, correct? Or a cardiovascular accident normally caused by a clot, correct? Correct. The okay. event, the event that we're trying to protect against is the heart attack. Okay. So but, does does test? Oh, go ahead, Doctor Ruzier. But you can't have a heart attack unless you have plaque. Okay. So does testosterone cause blood clots? I talked to someone yesterday that was under the impression that testosterone caused blood clots. Can you comment on that? Sure. The reason that we say that it causes blood clots is because if you go to the PDR and you look up testosterone, it says there's increased risk of blood clots. If you go to the American Academy of Urology Guidelines, it says in bold print, testosterone does not cause blood clots. So why did the the Urology Academy guidelines state that it does not cause blood clots, whereas other doctors think that it does. Uh, it's a very complex answer that most people wouldn't quite understand or grasp because um, it's so complex. But yes, it says it's in the PDR, but nowhere in any study, in an outcome study, does it show that it increases blood clots. But because one person reported it to the FDA that these patients that have a congenital thrombophilia, which is factor V Leiden, get blood clots when they're on testosterone, there was no control group. That paper was given and published and given to the FDA. And the FDA said, well, we have to report it as, since it was reported to us that there's a risk of blood clots, we then have to state it in the PDR that there's an increased risk of blood clots. Even though the study that was reported was so flawed because it took men that normally get blood clots and put them on testosterone and they got blood clots. Well, of course, patients with factor five light and get blood clots. And of course, the Finkel and the vegan study showed that there was increased risk for heart attacks if they got a prescription for it. We don't know if they took it. It was just giving them a prescription that they looked in the computer database um, and they ignore all the outcome studies showing that it does not cause blood clots right. and protects against it. We are misled to believe that it causes blood clots, which it does not in any outcome study. But you have to see they sort of go around the back door. Well, this one paper got published that showed blood clots. So therefore we have to alert and notify the public that there's a blood clot. So it says it as a black box warning in the PDR because the FDA required it because somebody reported it, but it's not shown in any outcome study to cause any harm, only benefit. So back to your question um, about does it cause heart attacks? No, it does not. It protects against the plaque buildup that eventually results in the heart attack. So yes, it protects against the heart attack, the event, the blood clot, but it also protects against the plaque buildup over 20 years that eventually results in such thick plaque that it causes a heart attack. So it prevents the cause of the problem, which is plaque buildup. It also reduces plaque, which causes the event, which is the heart attack. So it protects against two types of heart disease, the blood clot, and it protects against the plaque that builds up that results eventually in cardiovascular disease and blood clots. And we completely ignore all that data and all those studies. It's thoroughly amazing. You you push my button, Sean. <laughs> oh, hey, I know. I, it's my button too. That's why I pushed it because, you know, I, I, I fight this with doctors all day long.